right now! to the designer clothes for the needy charity drive. You don't think that instead of shopping on Rodeo Drive, Mandy's shopping on Charity Drive? There's only one way to be sure. My sweater has my initials on it. Do you still put your initials on your clothes? What are we, in kindergarten? I'll have you know monogramming is all the rage. Uh, <laughs> yep, that is definitely my old sweater. First the bus, then the bologna sandwich, now this? Could Mandy be totally broke? Oh! Good afternoon, ladies. What is with the robot with the chip on his shoulder, Jer? You girls really must brush up on your martial arts skills. Whoops, you training robot beat you in less than 10 seconds. Sorry, we've been too busy actually saving the world to practice saving it. Ow! You really should see a dentist about that tooth, Alex. It's pointless trying to talk to her, Jer. We've been telling her that all day. Oh. Several notable people have gone missing in the past two days. The CEO of a multinational bank, Mia Hansen, the actress, and Myra Sokolov. Famous ice skater? The very one. They've disappeared without a trace, but what's most puzzling is there doesn't seem to be any connection between them. I'm just cross-referencing them now. Huh. That's weird. What's weird? Jerry's almost right. Hmm? There's no connection between them except one. They all go to the same dentist, a Dr. Logan J. See? Going to the dentist was their first mistake. Ow! Today you'll get the Windpuddle 9000 Laser Tornado Blast Hair Dryer, the Hologram Projection Move Ring, and the Laser Nail File. Good luck on your mission, ladies. Forget it, dear. We're not falling for that again. even think about it or I'll sell you for parts, you giant bucket of circuits. Oh, 
trying to tell you before I just launched my new biorhythm satellite. It can track Sam's unique physical signature anywhere in the world. It's fully compatible with your X powders. Check it out! Sam's in Paris! This mission just got a whole lot cooler. Oh, except for the part where our best friend's been abducted. Hey! Where'd Alex go? Just give me one second to kick this hunk of metal's butt back to the scrap heap. Hey! Don't feel bad, Alex. Whoop made sure our training robot was virtually undefeatable. Every time I'm kidnapped, the back 
guy takes me to some dank hole in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> How come I never get Paris? Sam is directly below us in the penthouse suite. We're gonna have to bungee in. Ow! You know what? If you don't go to the dentist soon, I'm going to bungee that tooth right out of your mouth. All right, all right, I'll go. Department of world-renowned model Dunstan Cruz. Okay, Spill. How do you know that? Oh, well, there's this completely illegal but completely gnarly gossip scene that puts out a celebrity apartments mm. of the world issue every year. You should really check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Dentist to the stars, I could make anyone smile picture perfect. It's all I ever wanted to do until... What? Until what? It wasn't my fault. The president didn't follow my instructions. He left my patented whitening solution on too long and it ate through his teeth. He had my license removed. <laughs> but now I'm back for revenge. Soon, everyone in the entire world will be dental freaks under my control. To the chopper! <gasps> Luckily, I'm here to finish what Dr. J started. This should make you nice and sleepy. 
Ladies, looks like our new training robot paid off after all. And thanks for curing my toothache, Dr. J. Whatever was in that anesthesia really worked. <laughs> <laughs>
real friends. You're right. You guys are the best. As a rule, teenage girls are most perplexing, but I truly don't understand Alex at all. I've seen her face evil head-on, leap from supersonic jets, and even step between Clover and Mandy when things get out of control. But the first mention of a dentist and she flees. I reckon she's being completely irrational. Speaking of which, Jerry, isn't it time for your checkup? <laughs> oh my! started, shall we? If he starts dancing, I'm out of here. In just one week, we've seen trucks, buildings and businesses torn apart with no rhyme or reason. Just pure wanton destruction. Who would want to destroy wontons? Chinese food is like my favorite. <laughs> Apparently, someone's been skipping English class, which leads me to this. <gasps> They're totally our age, except they look like a bunch of dropouts. Oh, these are no high school rejects. Far from it. Athletics, the arts, every one of these children was tops in their field. What? Until they all went bad. But why? Too much sugar? Violent cartoons? Poor fashion choices? I become such the raging grump when I accidentally wear clashing colors. All wonderful guesses, but perhaps the X powder could provide further insight. Here we go. This database will cross-reference all the kids' backgrounds. There. All the kids attended Camp Achieve a lot within the last two months. Then they went wild. More like Camp Crazy a lot. Pack your things, girls. You're going to camp. Sorry, dear, but campfires dry my hair out, and besides, I don't even own any camping gear. Well, this isn't that kind of camp. It's a top-notch training facility. As for the gear, let's leave that to Gladys, shall we? Here you go, girls. Please promise to take care of these items. Candy grab go go boots, ultra-sensitive hearing microphones, and finally, this. Bug spray? Oh, no one said anything about bugs. It only looks like bug spray. The cannon is an instant highly concentrated fog. Perfect for quick escape and... <laughs> it even has a lovely pine fresh scent. Enough fun for now, girls. Come, we have a long drive ahead to Camp Achieve a Lot. What do you mean, we, Jerry? Well, this time I'll be personally transporting you. Codename, Daddy. <laughs> Mode engaged. Getting 
close. So who's up for a sing along? Girls? Hello? Is this embarrassing or what? Sam? Yeah, right. Embarrassing. Totally. Come on, girls. Music is excellent mental stimulus. <gasps> That's it! Music! What if we get a live band to perform at our party? Maybe even dance the pool! I'll call them right now. Awesome! Wait till Mandy hears about this. <laughs> Too late. Tentacles already booked at Mandy's party. <sighs> Goodbye, kids. Mom and I will miss you. Just pretend we don't know him. <laughs> Remember, son, Mommy wants you to come home a winner. Or don't come home at all. I hope you're not here to win because that position is taken. We're just here to have fun. Whatever. Have fun losing. <sighs> wow, looks like that's our cue. Come on. Next. I hope we can solve this case by Saturday night. <laughs> Next, state your name and your talent. I'm Alex, and um, I guess I'm a pretty good skateboarder. Next. Clever. Dancer supreme. Words kind of fall short for how good I am. Next. Nice to meet you. The name's Sam, and I won six gold ribbons on the accordion. <laughs> you know, Sam, some accomplishments are best kept to yourself. Greetings, the rivals. I'm Miss Paragon. I created camp people at the train and challenge talented kids like you to a test competition. How could so much cool stuff turn kids into maniacs? Maybe a quick scan will answer that. And intensely weird spectral energy readings. Hmm. And those who place first in your chosen fields will appear on the hit TV show, The Dream Dream Team, to be filmed right here live tomorrow night. <gasps> no way! I totally love that show! <laughs> May I remind you, young lady, that you are here to perform, not to have fun. Jeez, she should go to Mandy's party. She'd fit right in. <laughs> A skateboarder, huh? Around here, we have a saying. Let your talent do the talk. <laughs> Unless you'd prefer to leave. <laughs> One awesome skateboard display coming up. <laughs> <laughs> him. Excellent. Report to the evaluation center tonight. Oh, what's wow. Evaluation center? What's that? Nothing you need to worry about. It's only for winners. Back to your training. You have just one day to impress me. <laughs> we should spread out and ask if anybody here knew the kids that went back. Hey, nice spin. Can I ask you about... Hello, I was talking to you. Um, excuse me, can I... <laughs> Didn't anyone ever tell these kids all work, no play makes for lousy weekends? Looks like their talent stops just short of basic manners. Something's definitely not right. I'd like to evaluate that evaluation center. I'd like to see more of that Andy guy. Maybe we should follow him tonight. Great idea. We'll meet outside his cabin. Hey! Uh, I wish we could hear what's going on. That's why smart spies accessorize with the super sensitive earring microphone. <laughs> Perfect. Nice toss. Forget the accordion. I think we just found Sam's real talent. I can hear Miss Paragon and Andy. What's going on? Do I get a trophy or something? You don't need another trophy. Huh? We're about to find out how much raw talent you really have. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever 
it was that fried the earring. Great. Now Gladys will be on our backs. I'm more worried about those guys with the flashlight. You! Who's there? No more! Oh, we were just, um, uh, sleepwalking? Yeah. In fact, we're so talented at sleepwalking, we can even sleep run! <laughs> your talent. Oh, I couldn't sleep at all last night. I just know something bad happened to Andy. I checked my fried earring, Mike. The radiation was off the scale. I bet it's connected to that weird light we saw. Hmm. Morning, all I have an alpha. Yeah, like you're an evil witch and you're gonna make us miss our own party. <laughs> Yesterday's skateboard star didn't have what it takes after all. So not only is his spot available, I'll even throw in this fine board he left behind. <gasps> Awesome! Maybe I should go practice my routine again. I've still got a chance. Alex, remember what happened to Andy? I want to get a closer look at that evaluation center. Huh? <laughs> Intruder header for the EC. Hold her and wait for my... Whoa! Whoa! Go-go boots? Yeah. <gasps> oh no, Miss Paragon's got Sam! And she's about to play the accordion! We have to get in there fast.
want destroy. Don't worry, you'll get your chance. There must be a way around it, or a control box, or what are those? Wait! Good to hear from you, girls. Homesick? Right now? Yes. But first, we need you to help us disable this force field thingy. Hmm, intriguing. I'll see if Gladys recognizes the design. Where's Sam? Uh, destroy! Destroy! Ow. Uh, she's, uh, uh, keeping busy. So how do we disable this force field thingy? I'm reviewing some schematics now. If you can construct a simple proton phase reverser by modifying the function of your... Destroy! Destroy! Never mind, Jer. We got a cover. Thanks, Sam. Save some from Miss Paragon. Something tells me it won't be so easy. With the TV show tonight, you can bet she's planning something big. Let's go!
work girls. A tad messy, but nice. Sam and the others will be glad to know Gladys is working on reversing Miss Paragon's talent training. <laughs> All Gladys needs is these little cubes, a remote control, and it's showtime. <gasps> wow! It's the Green Dream Team! They're here! I hate to be rude, but we really can't do a show from this pathetic dump. What happened? Maybe you don't have to do the show here. Well, where can we find another venue on such short notice? Um... Ooh! Excuse me. Team Bingo! I knew you'd come! Um, actually, we're headed back next door. Can we borrow some ice? boots if I have to force Yves Mont Blanc himself to make me appear on Christmas Day. That's the Christmas spirit. Uh... Speaking of 
Christmas, you're cordially invited to attend Whoop's Holiday Bash tonight. Thanks, but no thanks, Jer. We still got major last-minute shoppage to do. Sorry, girls, but the gathering is mandatory. In fact, I need you here right away for a little pre-party mission. On Christmas Eve? But, Jerry... I'm not even dressed for a party. <laughs> now we know what poor Santa has to go through. <laughs> Jerry, what mission could possibly take precedence over last-minute Christmas shopping? Preparing my office for tonight's festivities. Ugh, that's it. I am returning your gift just as soon as I buy you one. I don't mind. After all, this time of year is about giving, not receiving. And speaking of giving, Gladys, give the girls their supplies. Come off, Dr. Broom Ammonia. Jerry, I don't have time for this. I have extremely expensive boots to find. But don't be silly, Clover. Your boots will only get ruined with all the cleaning you're about to do. I don't know what's worse, this lame party or these lame outfits. Tell me about it. Like, didn't anyone tell Jerry that fuchsia is this year's red? And hello, didn't anyone tell him a party's supposed to be fun? And so, Crawford, a former Whoop agent turned evil elf, hired a sleigh of reindeer. <laughs> or so he thought. <gasps> I'm going to be stuck at this party for the rest of my life. I'm never going to find these boots. Is there something I can help you with, Clover? <gasps> can you find a pair of Yves Montblanc boots for me? Affirmative. Yves Montblanc. Oopsie. Oh, my. Well, that can't be good. <gasps> Understatement of the year. She was just about to reveal only the most important information ever. <laughs> 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 Suddenly, I don't feel so silly in this outfit. Alex, please mop up the spilled punch. Negative, Jerry. You are no longer in charge. I am indeed in charge. <laughs> okay, that's right out of a horror movie. Uh, you cannot override the security system, Jerry. Only I control it. <gasps> She's right. I'd better contact Agent Mathers. He's skiing in Aspen. Hey! I thought this war fest was mandatory! Now is not the time to nitpick. Oh, my. Gladys is blocking my outgoing message. I have no choice but to disconnect her. Whoa! Never rethink your plan, Jerry. Sam, laser launcher, top draw. Take her down the old-fashioned way. Uh, uh, where's your hard drive, Jer? No one can stop me! of her malfunction is fascinating. Gone are the days when she just controlled my office. Now she controls the entire building. Can we admire your wacko machine later? Like when we're safe? Hmm. This closet is lined with titanium. It should slow down her ability to find us. Okay, so you spilled punch on Gladys? Why is she suddenly so evil? I didn't get that crazy when you dropped jelly on my cashmere. She's probably sick of living in Jerry's shadow. You know, never getting any of the limelight. Hello, she's a computer. She doesn't care about things like that. I'm afraid it's my fault that Gladys is evil. I downloaded her brain from the brain, the world's most brilliant villain. <gasps> she has a villain's brain? A villain who set out to destroy the world by misleading nations into launching missiles at one another. I thought I deleted all the evil synapses. Well, he must have a weakness. Everyone does. Shopping. 
All we have to do is find out what it is, and that's our key to stopping Gladys. Luckily, he happens to be in the building's holding facility. I say it's time we visit the brain. Uh, is everyone forgetting we're hiding in a titanium closet because a freako robot just tried to annihilate us? Not at all. Which is why there's no time like the present for a little present. Oh! Me first! Me first! Oh! Uh... Hmm... Uh. <laughs> okay, you realize we're not eight. It's the Bubble Blaster Invisibility Shield. We simply ensconce ourselves and move as quietly as possible. Never think to look for us inside the brain cell. How delightful. I haven't had so many visitors since last Christmas. Unfortunately, I haven't had a chance to get gifts for anyone. Gee, you seem nice. What's up with the whole starting a world war thing? I only wanted everyone to disarm in an effort for world peace. No one complied. So, a world war was the second choice? Ironical much? Yes, but you see, I have this condition. I'm a little crazy. You must be. You didn't even touch your holiday meal. Oh, it's covered in cranberry sauce to which I'm dreadfully allergic. It makes me even crazier than usual. <gasps> cranberry! That's the kind of juice I spilled on Gladys! She must have the same allergy. I bet it triggered the evil part of her brain. That means two ruthless files have just been launched. Checkmate, Carrie. Wherever you are. She's trying to start a world war just like the brain. How are we going to stop her? You can't. But I can. You see, we share the same network of neurons that form the brain's information processing circuits. Hello! High school students here! He's saying he's the only one who can outsmart her since he already knows what she's thinking. If you reduce my sentence by a mere 500 years, I'll help you delete the evil from Gladys's brain. Well, although this is not whoop policy, I suppose we... Not so fast, Jer! Hey, you prison guys can smuggle in anything you want, right? Throw in a pair of YMB boots and you've got a deal. <laughs> Agreed, Brain. We have no choice but to trust you. The first thing I need is a jet. <laughs> Then disable them before they reach their target. I have a better idea. The criminal stays put, and Clover and I take the jet. How will you disable the missiles? With your third gift, the remote virus Palm Coder Decoder. It intercepts computer programs remotely. It's not powerful enough to overtake Gladys, 
but it should suffice for the missiles. Brilliant. First things first, I'll disable the transmitter on one of the jets so Gladys doesn't control it. Hmm. Algorithm of acid to base is imbalanced from its imperfect state of four, which is a uh. common cerebral reaction to an allergen. Now you're just being difficult. Gladys became evil when she was exposed to too much acid, the cranberry juice. All we have to do is pump a base into a mainframe to counter the allergy. Genius. Only where will we get a base? You mean, like ammonia? The one I was cleaning. We ran out at home, so I was going to borrow this. I was going to pay you back. in a 20-pound fruitcake. But we had an agreement. I'm a criminal. I'm not to be trusted. Besides, how else was I going to escape? Okay, now that you've escaped, I think you should turn yourself in. Nice try, but I have a better plan. It's just like my old plan, only more evil. I'm going to launch all of Whoop's missiles at once. Forget tricking countries into going to war. I'll do it myself. <laughs> oh, if only he used his evil for good. Code the missile. 
missiles as best you can. We'll try to devise a plan. After the frequent fire miles from this mission, we're going to Fiji for a well-deserved vacation. Provided there's still a Fiji. <laughs> You've overlooked one variable. I have this condition. I'm crazy. And when I'm crazy, I'm a fighting machine! <laughs> Gladys will download your brain power, this time making sure she isn't turned evil in the process. Last year, look at these new Georgia Vivaldi's hot off the European runway. Now, this is the best Christmas present yet. <laughs> <laughs> human kindness, about treating others with respect and courtesy. That's why I love it so much. I mean, what other time of year can you get pleases and thank yous even from the baddies you're fighting? It really does bring out the best in people. Light warmers? Hello? Is this a gift or is someone just cleaning out their closet? <sighs> and then there's Clover.
flush with the bunny. Go with the dusty peach. Cheerleading practice is four o'clock by the East Bleachers. I emailed everybody a new cheer cheer. <laughs> School spirit is falling at an alarming rate, girls. Bad news for the school spirit club. I want six new ways to love our school by four o'clock. <laughs> Dear Fashion Club, Gretchen Bateman has started wearing her father's ties as belts. Look into it, I smell a new trend. Is it my imagination or is Clover in like a gazillion club? A gazillion in one? She just founded the Club Joiners Club. Clover, your popularity numbers are through the roof. There was a brief dip when you accidentally joined the chess club, but you shot right back up after joining the popularity club. Thanks, Arnold. I'll expect your next report on Wednesday. <laughs> Clover, this is getting out of control. It is not. I'm just doing what comes natural, being popular. But you're totally flaking on our missions. And you haven't even been to the mall in weeks. You must be in shopping withdrawal. Not to mention that we miss you. What do you say? This afternoon, it is shop till you drop. Sorry, guys, can't. Got five club meetings right after math. See you at home. So tragic. I never thought I'd see the day when Clover lost the will to shop. popular gave you mega freebies. Oh, one part chlorine to two parts benzene. I think it's three parts bromine to one part... Or, or was it two parts benzene to three parts nitroglycerin? Two parts bromine to four parts chlorine. Then raise the temperature to 98 degrees Celsius before processing it in the centrifuge for 15.8 seconds. Duh, Clover. Are you okay? Of course, I'm great. I just love science, don't you? You love science? But you really love Thanks, I needed that. Clover, are you sure you're okay? Clover is screaming! We've done this like a hundred times! It means we've got a new mission! You want to be whooped? What about all your club meetings? Who cares about school clubs? I'm a spy! Agent Clover, reporting for duty, sir. Sergei Siberia is at it again. Oh, that's right. Someone let him get away last time. He's robbing Beverly Hills Bank as we speak, Gladys. Here are your gadgets. How about a multifunction charm bracelet for the charming Clover? Alice will be able to snag her favorite bow, the chic new tangle bow that stores conveniently in her fashionable sheepskin belt. And for the lovely Sam, the new facial exfoliator 5000, which doubles as a powerful tumbling machine when you're late for that all-important day. Oh, get on with it. That is, we have to talk. <laughs> and our bad guy to close case ratio just doesn't cut it. By factoring in a series of bi-directional algorithms, I've calculated a way to improve our spying efficiency by 47.9%. Sushi? Never touch this stuff. Mm. Now, by restructuring our point of attack. Hi, Clover! <laughs> Notice something different about me? Anything would be an improvement. <sighs> My new sunray shades! Aren't you jealous? A two sheets of translucent polyethylene surrounded by molded plastic? No, why would I be? Okay. Clover, the new 
new chair is terrific. We can't wait to- Quiet. Can't you see I'm busy? Ugh. designs right away. But Jerry, can't you tell something's different about her? Absolutely. She's finally become the fine-tuned take-action spy that Whoop can be proud of. What? You two should take note. She's the ultimate Whoop spy of the 21st century. <laughs> Doubled her speed, tighten the turns, 43%. Don't baby her. Splendid. Oh, forgot to mention. Ah. Here, boys. Ah. These boys belong in lockup. Just thought I'd round up a few bad guys on my test run. <laughs> ah, we're running low on villains, chair. Almost had time for a nap. Next time, I assure you, we'll have villains to spare. But in the meantime, I'm very proud to present you with Woot's 100th Villain Court Award. Thanks for the paperweight, Jer, but we're wasting time here. I'm up for another solo mission right now. Solo? As in, without us? Now? Well, I'm sorry, Clover, but you've nabbed virtually every bad guy we're currently tracking. Every one? I'm starting to think my talents are being wasted at the second-rate agency. <laughs> The Electromagnetron, designed it on my lunch break. Oh, 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 marvelous. Just marvelous. Failure is not an option. on Clover's sweaty handprint. <sighs> Hydraulic fluid? Maybe it came from the plane or something. Maybe, but something's weird. I know it. Trouble is, Clover isn't going to tell us what's going on. But there's someone who might. Why are I still drools and mommy? Why not? 
You're a cyber thief. You steal, like, super secret microchips and stuff. Who put you up to it, Sergey? I work for myself, like always. It must be pretty boring in here, huh, Sergey? I mean, all this time alone with no video games to play? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Geraldine hired me. She used to run a speed up, but she's now on her own. She just used me as decoy to test Clover. Can I have with you? Okay, please, 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 please. Geraldine? Where is she now? I don't know. It's like floating island way out in the ocean. Huh? Now, please, with you, game. With you, game. <gasps> Clover, a tad more cooperative. I knew it! What have you done to her? Just turned her into a finer spy than Whoop could ever do. Huh? I couldn't shut you down with my squad of SBI super agents. So I decided to destroy Whoop from within. <laughs> Allow me to demonstrate. Oh, oh. That's right, Chris. Drink up. woman works for me. Not only that, she designed every booby trap on the island, and all it took was just a few taps on the keyboard. He gets so hungry this time of day. <laughs> hey, it's just a cat. Just a vicious car 
carnivorous cat. Wait, you're right. It's just a cat. And cats like playing, right? And what do they like to play with? I think this cat wants to play with my throat. No, balls. Hmm? That's right, kitty. Isn't that fun? Agent Clover. What's with the cough medicine? It worked on Kitty, too. Ah. Oh. Clover? Uh, Jer, a little help? Um. But what? How? The numbers don't lie, Clover. It looks pretty bad. Popular than you! Well, when you cut out of all of the clubs, your popularity plummeted. Oh, this isn't happening. Hey, I also got some good news. You do? We want you back in the chess club! Now hear this! To all my old clubs, please let me back in. I, I, I was just kidding before. I'll do anything. I'll even take the minutes and, and, and sweep up afterwards. Please, I, I want to be popular! Can you 
you believe it? I mean, Clover was the most popular girl in school and then whoosh, gone in an instant. You know, I don't even think anyone's asking her for fashion tips anymore. And when she walks down the hall, it's like she just blends in with all the other nobodies. In fact, no one even knows who she is. All right, you get it. I mean, she is really fun and, I mean, she's a great girl. I thought today would never end. Well, all that matters is I'm home now. And we have the whole night together. Jet Enterprises. Which one of you is Clover? I am, I am, I'm Clover! Congratulations, Clover. You've been selected to fly on the maiden voyage of Blingjet, a brand new super chic, super fast airliner. No! Why? You mean I won? Mm -hmm. Blingjet will transport you and a gaggle of international oh. mega celebrities from LA to Paris in the blink of an eye. Sam Alex, did you hear that? I'm going to Paris with a gaggle of international mega celebrities. Yeah, we heard. We're standing right here. <sighs> I am so excited. I don't even care that my hair is a ratted mess. Soon I'll be hobnobbing with my peeps, baby. Right. Since when is Clover an international mega celebrity? What's with the toot, girls? Aren't you happy for me? Of course we're happy for you. We're just a little bummed that we didn't win. Sorry, but you've got to be entered in Bling Jet's super fabulous contest to win. Ah, we did it! To Bling Jet's super fabulous contest. Clover mailed our entries. Right, Clover? <laughs> Oopsie. My bad. Clover? How could you do that? Were you trying to sabotage our chances to win? Of course not. I was just so excited. I wanted to make super sure my entry got there, so I used extra stamps. <laughs> then there were none left to mail yours. Congrats again. See you this afternoon. It's okay, Clover. We'll just take this off your hands. Yeah, the guilt must be killing you. No, it's not! Hands off my ticket! You heard the stewardess! Then we'll draw straws to see who gets to go! What part of congratulations, Clover? You're the winner, didn't you understand? The part where you forgot to mail our entries? Speaking of winners, you've been chosen out of thousands of Wub agents to serve as human test subjects in our latest battery of gadget tests. Isn't that exciting? Forget it, Jerry. Yeah, you can just find someone else to be your gadget testing guinea pigs. I was trying to make it sound exciting, but since that didn't work, your participation is mandatory. <laughs> Sorry, no can do. I've been chosen to ride on the maiden voyage of Bling Jet. <laughs> Obviously, my social standing is more important than testing Whoop gadgets. Oh, Clover, I'm so excited for you. Though I must admit to being a little jealous that I didn't win. <laughs> Wait, you entered the Bling Jet contest? Of course. Bling Jet is a technological marvel, the dawn of a new era in air travel. Not to mention, I used to be quite the international jet setter in my youth. <laughs> 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 
guess it'll just be the two of you for the gadget testing. Hmm? But, but, <laughs> thanks, dear. You're the best. <laughs> bon voyage, Clover. Blingjet also has a nightclub, five-star French restaurant, fully equipped spa, and error-proof landing system complete with spinning rims. Can I show you to your seat? <laughs> Here we are, 5D. <gasps> you mean I'm sitting next to hip-hop sensation Triple Threat? <laughs> Dan, Stan, and the man? You guys are only like the hottest triplets in prepackaged music. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> Wait until Sam and Alex see this. Meeting Triple Threat will so make up for forgetting to mail their entries. So, what do you girls think of Whoop's Fire Ants Hot Pants? You might like to say hi to Triple Threat! <laughs> What's up? Clover, what are you trying to rub your good fortune in our faces? Because now is really not the best time. Please turn off all electronic devices and prepare for departure. Um, how do I buckle myself in? Hmm. Oh, <laughs> cool. Thanks, Dan. Hmm. and enjoy Bling Jet's fabulous amenities. <laughs> Nature calls, my peeps. Well, I guess it's just you and me, Double Threat. What are we waiting for? seen the man in a while. He's probably in the steam room. Dry plane air is murder on the follicles. Oh, tell me about it. I'm deep conditioning the minute we land. Wait, this is we've already passed Paris. That makes no sense. <gasps> wow, that was super psychic. What can I do for you, miss? Well, I think your GPS system is broken. It says we've already passed Paris. That's really more of a question for the captain. Please, follow me. Captain Hayes, this is Clover, winner of the Bling Jet contest. She has a question she'd like to ask. Our motto at Bling Jet is service with a million dollar smile. What can I do for you? Uh, I was just wondering why your onboard computer says we've already passed Grand Paris. <laughs> because we have. The flight was going so well, we figured, why end it now? <laughs> In fact, we're never going to land. I'm going to fly the friendly skies with my new celebrity friends forever and ever. But I don't understand. Don't planes need fuel? Not plane jet. It's hydro-powered, collecting condensation from the clouds. Then the International Airport Authority dudes will stop you. Bling Jet travels faster than the speed of sound, so it's virtually undetectable by radar. If you think the celebrities will go along with this, then, then you're, you're, you're... What? <gasps> crazy? <laughs> with all the fabulous amenities on Bling Jet, the celebrities would have to be crazy to want to leave. <gasps> Demented much? There's no way you're gonna get away with this. <laughs> oh, hey! You're pretty strong for an overly quaffed, glorified air waitress. <laughs> <laughs> to mention heavy. Wait, where'd he go? Uh, 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 uh. 
There's no point in trying to escape. Those are diamond-coated doors. Nothing goes in or out unless I say so. <coughs> Ow! <coughs> now please, take your seat and prepare for departure. <laughs> Yours, that is. Do the words, as if, mean anything to you? Huh? Oh. Whoa, so that's why you're kidnapping celebrities? You have one majorly severe case of CWS. CWS? Duh, celebrity worship syndrome. And soon you'll have one major case of altitude sickness when my flight attendant throws you from the plane. Get her! Okay, um, hate to be redundant, but so not gonna happen. <laughs> Okay, mega freaky! Oh, did I forget to mention my flight attendants are robots? Uh, did I forget to mention I'm an international spy? You can run, Clover, but you can't hide! Oh yeah? Just watch me. I need some super spy backup. Time for another call to Sam and Alex. Oh. <gasps> Hello? Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> the man! What have they done to you? Oh, don't worry, I'm getting help. <laughs> the quick stash mustache is designed to hide whatever you need while on assignment, no matter the size. Go ahead, give it a try. Yeah, Jer, this is foolproof. No one will ever suspect we got anything hidden in here. Plus, we're not males, so why exactly are we wearing mustaches? Allow me. Huh? If you call to brag about your fabulous trip, Clover, you can just forget it! This isn't a courtesy call. I'm in some major high-altitude trouble. What's wrong? Captain Hayes is a celeb number with no plans to land Bling Jet ever! And if we don't go along with this plan, he's going to put us in a creepy dungeon thingy. <gasps> Come out, come out, wherever you are. Ah! Alex! Sam! Hurry! Hang in there, Clover! We're on our way! Oh, no. Those haven't been tested yet! Gladys! No, Jer, there's no time for Gladys! Besides, what better way to test them than in the field? You're right. Good luck, girls. Right here. 
I'd love to stay in chat, but I really have to jet. Huh? That's how he does it. Pretty cool trick, huh? He's locked us in from the outside. I've also programmed the computer to begin dropping the pressure inside the cockpit. Sleep tight, ladies. Nice to see you. Enjoying your flight? You look marvelous. Excuse me, Captain. I was just wondering when we'll reach Paris. Yes, I'm expected at the theater at 8. Soon, very soon. Now relax and enjoy the flight. After all, the journey is the destination, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Why don't I have my flight crew bring around some low-fat pistachio for you? Hmm? Oh, yeah, yes, all right. <laughs> Yum, oh, yum, yum, Since Mandy wore a tube top to algebra. With the cockpit pressure dropping, we won't stay conscious much longer. Then we better call for reinforcements. Good idea. I'll dial Jerry. Forget Jerry. We need to alert the other passengers. <laughs> Hola, Mega Celebs. This is Clover from 5D. I'm afraid I have some bad news. Captain Hayes has no intention of landing in Paris. He wants you to live aboard Blink Jet as his own personal menagerie. <gasps> Freaky weird, huh? Feel free to be incensed and angry. And BTW, he's trapped me and my girls in the cockpit with little breathable air. So, if you can give us a hand, it'd be way appreciated. Over and out. Who do you think you are? You'll never get away with this. You crazy, man. You ain't never gonna get away with this, man. Never. You want insane? I'll give you insane. Ah! I've just increased bling jet speed to a nutty one million miles per hour, a velocity so intense that it will reverse the rotation of the Earth. I will go backward on Earth, erasing your fame and fortune in the process. <laughs> We'll be happy to assist you with all your in-flight needs later. Looks like Clover's Operation Celebrity Pet Rally failed. What do we do now? I don't know, but we better do it pronto. I'm fading faster than a store-bought tan. <sighs> Experimental gadget number three. Don't fail us now. How is playing Rock the Cradle gonna help our lame oxygen sitch, Sam? It's not. While you two figure out a way to restore cabin pressure, I'm gonna slow down the plane. Another mission, another bad hair day. Okay, I'm no international jet setter, but shouldn't there be oxygen masks dropping from the ceiling by now? The captain must have jammed them with that totally annoying, totally cyber lame remote of his. Then you just have to unjam them. Who knew my in-flight Manny would come in so handy? Nice work, Clover. <sighs> now all we have to do is increase the oxygen flow. No problem. Oh, 
so concerned with slowing the plane down, I kind of forgot to think about the landing. Well, you better think about it now, because we're coming in fast. Relax, girls. Our ride is fully loaded. Back away from the console. There's no way I'm letting some wannabe ruin my destiny. The only wannabe I see is you. As in, you might want to be running because you're about to get your butt kicked. <laughs> now, as I was saying before we were so rudely interrupted, say hello to Bling Jet's airproof landing system. I'll see you back on solid ground. And thanks for flying with us. I've always wanted to say that. Bye-bye. And please remember, if you're going to sue, sue him, not us. We're the good guys. Bye, Triple Threat. Oh, yo. Oh. Yo. And remember, I'm available for any of your casting needs. I'll have my agent send you a headshot. <gasps> oh, that reminds me. Just thought this would make up for forgetting to mail your entries. Dan, Stan, and the man will cherish this always. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Being a celeb is like so not what it's cracked up to be. People are always all over you, wanting autographs, pictures, hair. And like privacy is totally a thing of the past. I mean, hello, try scratching your nose without a hundred paparazzi snapping away at you. No, thank you. I mean, <laughs> unless of course. Someone out there wants to do a show about me or something, you know, like being a super cool spy. <laughs> Just needs a name. Oh, oh, I know. Totally clever. 